Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and if you're watching this video then you are looking for a thyroid solution to your weight loss or weight gain or feeling cold or having uh, bloating in the gut or having a, um, brain fog or just not doing well and being told that your lab tests are normal even though you still feel lousy. What I wanted to say is we fashion our office uh, after this book called Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When My Lab Tests Are Normal? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to explain to you how typical tests work. The typical test for TSH, the value is anywhere between 0.45 to 4.4 to 4.50. So what that means is if you are going for a lab test and you're told that your lab tests are normal, then that means you have to fit on the inside of 0.45 to 4.5, which is extremely extremely broad. And this is compared to all the sick people that took the test in the lab the last year and they averaged out all the high and they averaged out all the low. And if you're not higher than the average high person or sicker than the average low person, then you're told you're normal. However, there's something called functional ranges. And the functional ranges are 1.8 to 3.0. So what that means is you are now being compared to a healthy person. And the way I explain this is that I have 12-year-old twins. If they do poorly on a test, the medical model is to say, you know, we don't care that you're getting a C plus. We're going to wait till you get a D, and at that point, we're going to give you extra help. That's where the 4.50, if you're higher than that person or you're lower than that person, then you're given um, extra help. However, if you get a C plus, then you're told you're fine. You don't need to improve your grade. What I would suggest you do is look at your lab tests with a functional range, which means 1.8 to 3.0. So if, say, for example, you have 3.7, you're told that you're normal over here. However, it's higher and it's in the abnormal range. So, or if you're told you're at 1.2, you are actually higher than this level, but you're lower than the average healthy range. And so what I would suggest to you is, have you been assessed properly? And there's, this is not just for TSH. This is for glucose, for uh, anemia, red blood cells, white blood cells, liver function. So the problem today is, is that doctors have less time to spend with you. Let's face it, they get paid less today than they did 10 years ago. And if you get paid less today than you did 10 years ago, but your overhead goes up and your staff goes up and your rent goes up, you have less time to spend some to with someone. So I tell patients a lot of the times nowadays, doctors don't even read your test. It's the computer that reads the test. They look at it and they say, hey, there's an H for high or there's an L for low. Let's get you to take this medication. Or there's no H's or there's no L's and you're normal. And what's happening is they're not looking at it from the functional point of view. So that could really change around your life by just looking at it from a healthy point of view and saying, hey, look, Mrs. Jones, you're getting a C plus. You're not quite over the line yet or under the line yet, but you are not in the healthy range. And this will change around the way that you're functioning. So if you're looking for a natural solution to your thyroid problem, think about giving our office a call so that we too can look at your lab tests from a functional range. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.